excited now to see Mark Parker for our Valentine's Day marketing session and he um, he's out in the middle of Bald Eagle on an ice shack. In fact, I, I kind of sense he could even be living out here this winter, but he did say that uh, it was important that we were out here for the meeting because this is where his creative juices are flowing out here on the frozen lake. So we'll see what happens. It could be interesting. I don't know what to expect. Cousin Eddie? Yep. No, no. Yeah, Cousin Eddie. Be oh, dead, yeah. Chinsong. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie likes his Bob Marley. Oh, yeah. Mark, thanks for having me out. Absolutely. This, this place is great. Yeah, you no, know, it's, it's a great office. Yeah, yeah. Valentine's Day at the Minnesotan. Yeah. It's becoming a bigger holiday for us. I called in the pro. You did a great job for us. Thank Black you. Friday, Small Business Center. That hat deal was a hit. So what do you got for us? I mean, let's go. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a man of the people, I'm on the fringe, but so I'm thinking Valentine's Day. Most relationships, Corey, in my opinion, need a little spark. At least that's that's what my friends tell me. Um, I think that if people come into your store and spend $100, in return, they would get a $25 gift card to Sex World. Uh, what are you talking about, Mark? I can't do that. People, people are getting weird. Sex World, downtown Minneapolis? I can't give out a gift card at the Minnesotan to Sex World? Come on, Mark. We had this conversation on the phone. Yeah, we did. You're right, you're right. Okay, well. You know what? I'm short on time. I got one more. I mean, we're in the apparel business. How about something on a t-shirt? What do you got? This thing comes to my mind. That's usually the best. Uh... Block letters, wine me, dine me, 69 me. You say 69? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Really? Wine me, dine me, 69 me? Valentine's Day. What are you, what are you talking about? People are At the Minnesotan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I've had it with you. You're done. You're fired. I'm done with you. That did not go well. What can I do? Thank you for calling the Minnesotan. This is Dina. How can I help you? Hi, Mark. No. He's not here. You've called three times. He clearly does not want to talk to you. Okay, be well. Thank you. All right, Dana, have a good night. We'll see ya. Guess who called again? You gotta be kidding me. I'll tell you what, Mark, he's lost his mind. He's been stalking me for a week. We'll see you later. Hey, buddy. Mark. What are you doing here? How are ya? I fired you a long time ago. You gotta hear me out. Just you gotta hear out this one last one, and I know I shit the bunk bed on our Valentine ideas out in my office. But you know I'm a man of the people. These are tough times. I think we need to have a food drive for Valentine's Day. You know, someone brings in a non-perishable item, canned good, they get a certain percentage off whatever apparel they pick up. You like it? Not bad. Not all bad. right, all right. I'll consider that, Mark. Thank you. I'll consider Thank that. you. All right. Well, hey, you know, I got I got to make up for all the bad stuff. We'll be in touch. Thanks, Mark. It's a great store, buddy. Mark Parker. What's the mark in marketing? I tell you what, he is resilient. Uh, I wrote him off many times. I and I definitely wrote him off this past time. And he's stalking me for a week on this thing, and he shows up, kind of knocked it out of the park. Food drive over Valentine's Day. Early 2021, makes sense, it's a great idea. Yeah.